How's it going Forex traders and welcome back to yet another amazing video from yours truly Dapo Willis. Guys, as we speak right now, <laughs> I'm currently the most controversial Forex trader on the planet. Why? Because I manage well over $150 million in funds. And for some strange reason, the figures seem to be upsetting quite a number of people. Why that's happening, I don't know. Or maybe they're thinking, how did he do that? It's impossible. He's black. He's African. He's Nigerian. It could never happen. <laughs> it's happening, people. As a matter of fact, it has happened. I've been doing this for the longest time. My contract has been running for well over two years now. You have to deal with it. It's who I am. I am Dapper Willis, and I am one of the greatest traders to ever walk the planet. And people are going to have to get used to this. That being said, let me tell you why people actually gravitate towards my content and they gravitate towards me. It's not because of the money that I manage. That's very much by the way. It is because of a segment on my YouTube channel called Trader Talk, whereby I come to showcase the trades that I'm placing on this massive account. I come to showcase my analysis. I come to project thousands of pips into the future. And in the process of projecting all these things, people are watching and are making money and putting money in their pockets. People are using my projection to buy cars for themselves. They're using my projection to invest in their businesses. People have used the projections that I've called on this very segment of my YouTube channel called Trader Talk to absolutely change their lives, pay their mother's hospital bills, pay off their damn mortgages. This is why people rock with Dapper Willis. The simple fact remains, I am a very, very, very good trader. And that's final. And I'm going to prove that to every single one of you who's just joining me for the first time. But let me first of all explain my approach to Forex. You guys have to understand that I've been doing this for about 12 years now. I graduated right out of high school at the age of 17. As with every 17-year-old, I mean, I was in Nigeria at the time. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Nigerians, but we're very, very enterprising people. Like, we, we like to make money. You probably Most people are just starting to hear about Nigerians now because of Burning Boy, Whiskey, and Davido. Yeah, we've been... We like, to, we like to make a lot. Where we come from, your value, you're only as valuable as how much money you have in your bank account, even in your immediate family. So right from when I was young, I wanted to make a lot of money. So I picked up Forex trading and I've been doing it since I was 17. I'm 29 years old, guys, right now. So I've been doing this for 12 years, right? And throughout the entire process, I've been cheated, I've been chopped out, I've had people sell me all kinds of phony indicators and signals and all of that crap for so much and i got little value out of it so i said to myself i'm gonna understand this game properly and i'm gonna do things the right way along my journey along the way i stumbled on a concept called the top-down analysis now the top-down analysis is so simple and so straightforward and it's actually not even a strategy it's more like an approach to understanding uh how price works, how future price movement is basically going to play out. And the top-down analysis is so straightforward. It goes this way. And this is my approach to trading. That's why people just love me. Simple. And I'm going to showcase. I'm going to, after this, I'm going to go on my charts and I'm going to take you through the entire process. You're going to watch everything, but just listen. So the top-down analysis, the concept is very simple. I discovered that most of the institutions that are profitable when it comes to trading and managing funds. For example, the big banks, the investment banks, the hedge funds and all that. They don't actually dabble on lower time frames that much. They go on higher time frames and they project thousands of pips into the future. That's why a big bank, sorry guys, I'm sweating and when I'm passionate, I gotta start sweating, right? So I realized that the big banks um, don't really dabble that much on lower time frames. What they do is they actually go on higher time frames and they do massive projections. That's why you can hear Goldman Sachs come out and say, oh, our outlook for this year on this currency is this. Our outlook for this on this oil prices is this. And our outlook and our outlook. And our... So I'm thinking like, what outlook are these guys talking about? So I started to understand that what these guys are actually doing is they're doing their analysis on their higher time frames. And what the higher time frame does for them is that it gives them a certain level of clarity, certainty. There's no noise on the higher time frame. And the truth is, if you're able to get your analysis spot on, on higher time frames, the lower time frames always, 
always now it's not rocket science like if everything is pretty much based on what happens on a higher time frame why waste your time doing your analysis on the lower time frame you head over to the higher time frame and then you do your analysis there so what i do is simple i go on higher time frames project thousands of pips into the future i look at what exactly the euro or usd is doing on the higher time frame aud usd is doing on the higher time frame you take aud usd example for, for example right i can look at the chart and just be like this thing's going to drop a thousand pips just because of a bait and the, the analysis the approach analysis is so simple i should do a simple ass analysis the problem is people don't listen. Everybody wants to day trade. They feel like they've been sold a false dream. And they feel like being stuck in front of the computer is the best way to make money in the market. That's a lie. It's a dream. So back to what I was saying. Higher time frame. Do a very basic and simple analysis on higher time frame. Do your projection. Once you have a clear direction on a higher time frame, you then switch over to the lower time frame and trade in the direction of the overall trend. It's just like Google Maps. Simple. Imagine trying to drive from London to Manchester without a freaking map. You're going to get lost. But if you have Google Maps, it tells you the best route to go. First of all, it tells you how to get there. Secondly, it tells you where there's traffic and where the people are constructing on the road and the best way to it's so it's a lot makes things a lot easier right and the best part about the top-down analysis is the fact that one is kind of like a set it's like it's like a set and kind of like trade kind of vibe so once you do your analysis on a higher time frame you scroll down to a lower time frame and you place your trades and allow the trade to run for as long as it takes for that 1,000 pips to play out. Sometimes it takes three weeks, sometimes it takes three months. Just imagine you place your trade and the trade is just going, going into profit and you're compounding and all you need to do is check your charts once a day. That's how I trade. Check your charts once a day. Once you check your charts, you close your laptop and you go do other things. This way, the market is making money for you while you sleep. Passive income doesn't get better than this. Guys, I'm going to leave you with this. Trading Forex is not a get-rich-quick thing. It's an investment vehicle. And until people start treating it as such, they will never make money in this market. Once again, I have a very fantastic program. People are going to bash me for this. Like, you keep selling this damn program. Yes, I'm going to keep talking about it and people are going to keep buying it because you know why? The Forex Mastery Program is the truth. It is the true liberation of Forex traders from Forex brokers. And for the first time in history of this industry, Forex traders are now more profitable than ever. Why? Because they have finally understood the concept of the top-down analysis thanks to the Forex Mastery Program. They know they don't need to sit in front of their screen. They know that they don't have to gamble away their money. They now understand that it's all about future projections, taking a portion of your capital. Guys, if you adopt this strategy, all you need to do is risk 3% of your capital to make as much as 30%. Now you can actually risk this little to make this much. Once again, the Forex Mastery Program comes at a price. The link is down below. It's just 99 bucks. Yes, they're going to say he manages $150 million. Why is he still selling a course? Guys, it's just 99 bucks, man. It's not going to change my life. And the truth is, you need the course. You need to change your life more than I need the 99 bucks. I'm sorry this is me bragging once again, but it's just the truth. Get the program. Change your life. The link is in the description as always. Take the program. Make some money for yourself and your family. Prove the world wrong and tell them I took the Paul Willis' course on the top-down analysis. Mr. Broker, I've taken a course called the Top Down Analysis from the Forex Mastery Program, and I'm here to take all my money back. All the money that brokers have been taking from you guys over the years, the Forex Mastery Program is here to liberate you guys. Once again, the link is in the description. Grab it for your own self, and I'll catch you guys in the video. Let's go talk some charts now. Let's go. Let's enough of the talking and all the ranting. Let's go. Bam. All right, people. So let's jump into my charts, my very amazing charts. <laughs>
Guys, so today I'm going to be taking a deep dive into my strategy, the secret sauce, the reason why Dapple, people love Dapple Willis so much, um, the top-down analysis. I'm going to be putting it to practice, which a lot of people don't do. I'm going to be using the top-down analysis to project thousands of pips into the future, as I always do. And ultimately, I'm going to be helping you guys spot some really good trading opportunities because at the end of the day, the reason for the top-down analysis, the reason for the Forex Mastery program and the reason for this channel is to help you guys put some money in your bank account. Um, so I'm going to be going over a couple of pairs, about six of them, right? Six really juicy setups that I wanted to share with you guys. But before I jump into that, before I jump into all the nitty gritties of what I have to share with you guys today, I want you guys to go ahead and smash the subscribe button right there. Help this community grow. I'm all about preaching sustainable trading methodologies. I'm all about teaching people how to do things properly so that you don't, you're not swayed by, you know, all the fancy stuff that they post on social media that actually doesn't work. This is pure technical analysis price action. So do yourself a favor, smash the subscribe button right there and smash the bell icon so that you guys will be one of the first people to get notified when I drop videos like this because sometimes I drop these videos and then obviously maybe you watch it three days later and then the trade is already gone. So if you want to be able to have fresh analysis and fresh setups, Fresh avenues to make money, smash the subscribe button. Okay, so you have five seconds to do that. Five, four, three, right there, two, one. Now let's go. So the very first pair that I like to go over, I know a lot of people have missed <laughs> have missed trader talk. I'm sorry for being away, guys, but sometimes I need to take a break, man. I need to take a break. So the first pair I want to go over is AUD USD. Um, so I remember doing uh, some analysis on this pair. Uh, a while ago and I projected that the market was going to first of all during during lockdown I predict, projected this entire drop to the downside so this was about 1500 plus pips um, and then the market rallied all the way to the upside and then projected another collapse to the downside um, you can check my previous trader talk videos everything is live and documented on my YouTube channel right however right now we're currently in a situation whereby um, AUD USD so I'm just going to delete all this stuff so that I can explain to you guys um, so whenever it is you open a chart, the very first thing you want to do is come on a monthly time frame, right? So you want to come on a monthly time frame. And in this case, what I can see is, you know, monthly flow to the downside. It's so simple and straightforward. You can see that as long as we're trading below this monthly trend line to the downside, we're bearish. So first of all, we'll come on a monthly time frame to see what exactly is happening. Monthly is only to find the direction. And in this case, the direction is flowing south. Now, I will then come to the weekly time frame to obviously plot out these key levels. I've already plotted them, as you can see. You don't need any indicators to plot this stuff. All you need to do is look left. Okay, I used pre, uh, prehistoric uh, major turning points in the market to plot these key levels. You don't need any indicators. Forget about order blocks and all that jargons. <laughs> it's so simple and straightforward. Like I say, once again, I teach it on the Forex Mastery Program. It's called uh, Key Levels. If you haven't already grabbed it, the link is going to be in the description as always. So you plot monthly is overall direction, weekly, plot out these key levels. Now, these key levels are usually spaced out between a thousand pips. It, it's not always a thousand pips. Like because at the end of the day, I go to prehistoric turning points to plot these levels. So it's not always 1,000 pips, but I mean, you can see they're pretty wide apart. Now, the essence of these key levels is to, as we have identified the flow to the downside, these key levels would basically guide us as we flow south. What do I mean by this? As you can see, when AUD USD started to obviously descend all the way from the upside, you can see we came here, tested here came here support the market supported the about here tested it before you continue coming south this level held popped in here get 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 here get here get here get here so you get the gist these guys are the major support and resistance levels that will guide the flow of the market as it's coming down now in this case since we're bearish as you can see from when we started calling very uh, bearish momentum all the way from here because this was a head and shoulder pattern that formed somewhere around here we broke down to the downside let me zoom this in so that you guys can see properly uh, sorry put my phone away <clears throat> so this was a head and shoulder pattern bearish this was a head and shoulder pattern on a bearish flow to the downside so we started looking for sell opportunities as you can see, this level was our first major level target because this is a key level. So you can see how it serves as a take profit zone as well. And then obviously we started to rally all the way, drop all the way to the downside, pop back up. So even when we pull back, we usually pull back into these regions. 
but as you can see right now the market is slowly making its way to the downside so quick update on what's happening on AUD USD it's so simple and straightforward I'm, I don't even need anybody to tell you guys what's happening we are making our way to the downside one thing I know about this market and one thing I try to explain to people is that the market is not linear the market doesn't move in a straight line the market will come down in steps and as you can see, just by understanding the way that I trade, you can probably tell where the next level target is going to be. Simple, look left, the blue zone. The reason I have this green bar here is obviously this is some form of a demand zone. So I would, I, I'm not going to be stupid enough to not identify that region and watch out for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out some of my profit here. And then obviously we're going to drop all the way down to the blue zone. So it's so simple and straightforward. Now... I'm currently short AUD USD because it's actually my favorite pair to trade. It's been my favorite pair for the longest time. This was actually the setup for AUD USD. That's why I say sometimes it takes quite a bit for the market to actually fulfill its 1,000, 1,500 pip move. But the, the reason why I like this approach is because I just set the trades and I go do other things. As you can see, break of counter trend line, we've constantly tried to test this yellow bar. But for every time we come, we drop. Even when we close above, came back down. Try to close above, comes back back, back down again. And this is the, the, the good thing about understanding, understanding the direction. In situations like this, most traders would have given up. This massive rally to the upside. And don't forget, it's a daily time frame. So on a one hour, it's a lot of bullish candles. People must have started buying and then they buy, buy, buy. And they think it's still going to go up and then it starts coming back down. And then it starts selling and starts going back up. So all of this choppy movement would have definitely taken out a, low, a lot of lower time frame traders out. And this is once again why I preach the top-down analysis. Because on here, what you can do is this. On here, what you do is this. You can see everything. You can see the choppiness while it's happening. And because of the fact that you know that the market is bearish, you're not moved, you're not moved by emotion, you're not moved by impulse. This way you trade less and you make more money. Usually most people who trade on lower time frames end up having blown accounts during periods of consolidation. Yes, it is easy to trade the trend. It's a, the trend is the easiest thing to trade, but what happens when the market is choppy? Can your strategy withstand that? And most lower time frame strategies cannot withstand choppy markets because they don't even know what exactly is going on. But today, I've decided to zoom out to show you guys what exactly is going on. Even right here, AUDUSC is choppy, but we're just holding out. We're just holding out. And for as long as it needs to take, it will come down to the profit level. But whilst it's doing whatever it needs to do, I'm taking care of other businesses. I'm take, doing other things. I'm spending time with my family. I literally just got back from, from, a, from a very long holiday, which I desperately needed. Um, so, yeah, the market is taking its time and it'll do what, it's, what it needs to do. And at the end of the day, this is the clear definition or a clear example of allow the market work for you. Allow the market um make money for you while you sleep people want the market to be passive you need to treat forex like an investment vehicle allow it to do its thing you're not supposed to always be in front of your screen they lied to you if they told you that you always need to be in front of your screen because brokers want you to do that they want you to do that because the more you trade the more commission they make for every time you go in and out of a trade they make a percentage of the lot size but if you're trading not that many times like I do. And they, they don't really like people like myself. First of all, I'm not trading that much. Secondly, I'm actually making money. So they, they are forced to place my trades on the live market. But that's a conversation for another day. I just wanted to obviously explain to you guys what exactly is happening AUD USD. I have no doubt. I've been calling AUD USD 0.61920 for the longest time since March of this year. <laughs> for the longest, in fact, from the time we came down here and we. Even guys, see this, this how how amazing these zones are. Even when we break above the zones, the market comes back down, respects it before it comes back down. So even if you're not sure, mm, this level hold, relax and watch. And so another trick I wanted to teach you guys: if you plot your levels, allow them be. Even when the market comes to defy it, leave it there, and you see the market come back and respect it. Try it again, respect it. This time around, he came back not to prove to you that he was respecting this level. What did he do? He breaks above, takes out all the stop losses, this clear case of market manipulation. But when he's coming down, what he comes to respect it before heading south. And as you can see, it's doing the same thing here as well. Obviously, I cannot go into every single detail about how I plot the level, these levels and my thought process. Everything is on the Forex Mastery program. 
Um, but yeah, this is pretty much is as this is as simple as it gets. It does not need to be complicated. Um, obviously, entries and exits. I speak about it on the forex mastery program as well. But this is AUD USD guys in a nutshell. Next level target is 0.61920. After that, we're coming down here. There are no there are no trading opportunities here. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm already in these trades, so. I'm just gonna have to wait for the market to hit profit targets. I want to hit profit targets. I know once we hit profit targets, it's gonna be a lot of pullback, right? Because people are taking profit. Now, once we clear these levels, then I can start looking for more trading opportunities. But for now, AUDUSD is in profit. I'm happy, it's handsome. And yeah, it's, it is what it is. Now, this is why I say subscribe to the channel so that you can catch moves like this. Let's go over to the Euro, right? So what exactly is going on with the Euro USD? Let's go over to the monthly time frame real quickly. Um, as you guys see, like I preached to you guys, simple. Like I said in those clips you guys probably saw on the podcast and everybody was laughing like, oh, he does not know what it's talking about. You guys don't know anything, man. I'm giving you a lot of free game, man. Enjoy it while it lasts because the kind of money I'm making from this industry, it's only going to be a matter of time before I'm like... Bro, it's time for me to put my money, you know, to, to do bigger things and and just not always have to come in front of you here every day and analyze the market. I'm going to wake up one day and be like, it's not worth my time anymore to do this analysis. So for the time being that I'm here, you guys have to utilize it, okay? Juice out every single piece of information you can hear from me because I've been doing this for 12 whole years. I've been there, done that, seen it all. So what do you do? First things first, come on the monthly time frame. I'm going to delete everything. What you do, you come on the monthly time frame. Now, what exactly is the monthly time frame doing? Simple, just zoom out. As you can see, don't need a, don't even, even, even my five-year-old niece would tell you that this is a very straightforward downtrend, right? Very straightforward downtrend. We've always, we've been trending and trading below it, and then obviously we tried to buck the trend, but we came back down below it. I remember once we came back down below this trend line, it was a smooth sailing to the downside. You know, called another thousand pip, thousand five hundred pips. Amazing year last year was for me and my traders um, and my investors as well. So the market massively dropped, and then obviously I was calling Euro USD at parity. Parity simply means the Euro is at par with the US dollar one to one. Um, so yeah, sorry, one to one. Um, so we did hit that and one thing I forgot to mention in the uh, AUDUSD, these forex instruments love what they call round numbers, okay? They love round numbers. So obviously we peaked down into 1.00, came back down here a, a bit and then fired all the way to the upside. I was absolutely expecting that. We've attacked the trend line. So first of all, analysis on the monthly time frame. Because think about it, if you do your analysis on the monthly time frame and you're able to get the analysis right on the monthly time frame. We all know how big the pip counts are on the monthly time frame. So if you're right on the monthly time frame, simple. Just scoot down to a lower time frame and just trade in that direction. So I keep preaching, I keep preaching, I keep preaching. Anyways, back to what I was saying. So <clears throat> drop down here, we've attacked this trend line. It was looking like a clear, not a clear trend reversal, but this was, to me, was looking like... Um, Correction because think about it. This is if I calculate properly, this is 1.200, and this is let's just say this is one, not point six. So the, we're looking at about a thousand. If I no, 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 you're looking at about 2,000 pips. Yeah, you're looking about it, but this is a huge 2,000 pip drop. Now, you don't th expect the market to drop 2,000 plus pips, you know, 3,000 pips. You don't expect the market to just drop 3,000 pips. And then not not retrace see it's gonna retrace but the good thing about it is where do we retrace into so i've just been watching it obviously everybody was like euro usd trend has changed the trend has changed i'm like these guys don't even know what's happening zoom out does this look like a trend change in your eyes how can you say this is a trend change no a trend change a pullback medium term correction right Obviously, lower time frames will tell you it looks like a trend change, but when you come to the higher time frame, you notice that, look, things are a bit different, right? At least, I wouldn't call it a change in trend. I would say it's a correction. I'm not saying the trend cannot change. It can change. But I always like to use the, um, I always like to use the evidence in front of me. I don't like to trade what based on what I think or what I feel. I always trade based on facts and what's in front of me, right? So, 
it was in front of me it wasn't looking like a trend reversal it was looking like a retracement you know so and as you can see we've come into this region and then we've tried 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 do you know how many months it took this one two three four five six seven eight home this is most of 2023 <laughs> yeah because we're in october right so this is a whole eight months and then the market just stayed sideways and then starts coming back down now what could be the reason for that first of all the overall flow on the monthly is pointing down secondly if you draw your fibonacci from a b c this is a 50 fib this is a willis zone for those of you guys who don't know willis zone is forex mastery students know what willis zone is so it's a willis zone pullback right so i named this region after myself I mean, I know how effective it is, so why not name it after myself, <laughs> right? So it pulled back into the Willis zone, and then we're pointing all the way down, as you can see. If you come down to the weekly time frame, clearly you have all the levels mapped out, and as you can see, what has happened, even this key level, what happened when we're coming down, tested it, respected it, dropped here, although we didn't touch it properly here, came back, and we respected it. So the market will always respect these key levels okay and you should respect them as well so moving forward what do i think is going to happen to a um, to the euro euro dollar now if i just draw an inner tr um, <sighs> oh, sorry that's not from the point that i want it to be so these are the most outermost points so from what i can see the market is now trading back down below this trend line so what that simply says to me is looking bearish again you guys saw what happens when we what happened the first time when we came out of the trend line we did whatever i need to do but once you came back down shh, try to do the same thing again once now it's back down we're looking like a potential shh. now monthly has told us it wants to come down so it's a game of probabilities. So I'm going to write this down. For Euro USD, it's exactly why you should have a trading journal. Um, not to worry, I'm going to imp imp impute that into the Forex Mastery program as well. So Euro USD is simple. 90% favor to the downside, and there's a 10% probability of trend reversal. So meaning that the probabilities are favoring the downside. Now, once I know that I have a higher chance of it dropping to the downside, I then come to the weekly time frame, and obviously my key levels are plot. But at the moment, the euro, see, I'm taking my time to teach you guys free game. My students are not going to be happy with me because I'm dropping a lot of juice, but I missed you guys on YouTube, and I love you guys very much, so why, why not, right? Why not? Anyway, so <sighs> back to what I was saying. Uh, so we're currently on the weekly time frame where the key levels are. We're what is what is stopping Euro USD from crashing is this major key level. Now that being said, because I remember when the euro, it's unfortunate because I actually anticipated the break of trend line from here down here, but I was too busy f launching Willis Capital and this and that, and I didn't even have time for my charts to even look at. Guys, I only have two trades open right now. It's A on AUD USD. That's it. That's it. And it's been there for the for, for longest time. It's just taking its time. That's it. <laughs> whatever we make from AUD USD, if it takes, I don't know how long it's going to take. Once it touches my target, whatever it is I make, that's what I'm going to declare to my investors. It is what it is. Most important thing is we made a lot of money. So i'm not in, i'm not the type of trader who is desperately looking for trading opportunities i look for the best and the most quality trades okay so anyways back to what i was saying i unfortunately i missed out on this euro usd trade because i actually noticed something so this is what i noticed i noticed that this was a double top and this was a third touch so guys i want to teach. listen 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 please listen to this first rally second rally this push up to the upside is a clear case of market manipulation right i like when this happens because f first of all I, I was very bearish on this right i like when things like this happen because when the when the market manipulates a particular zone and then it starts coming back down i know that okay it's actually time to start selling because the market cannot run stops twice it costs 
the investment banks, the hedge funds, the market makers to run stops more than once. So it's just like, I don't know how to explain it. Most people will tell you the best time to drive is right after you just had an accident because you're more careful. The chances of it happening is slim. So this is a market manipulation situation. You know that getting into this trade, the chances of you hitting stop loss are almost non-existent because the stop loss run has already happened. <laughs> you get what I mean? So, of course, the market makers have induced everybody here for a buy opportunity. Yes, the euro is reversing. Yes, the euro is reversing, blah, blah, blah. And then start sucking everybody back down. So this is the trade that I actually missed that actually really hurt me. I could have gotten in here, retest, and then another one after the break of the counter trend line, and then obviously read them, jumped on the wave down back to the downside. But it's too busy. I wanted to call it on Twitter. I was my head was everywhere. Okay, so yeah, that that didn't happen. That 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 clearly didn't happen. So hold on, guys. That clearly didn't happen. So yeah, um, we've dropped all the way to the downside. Now back to what I was saying, what exactly is the situation with the euro dollar? Now, the only thing stopping the euro from collapsing further is this blue bar. So it's, it's not rocket science. Just wait for the market to take out the blue bar. It's as simple as that. <laughs> Any trade you place above this blue bar now, you're reducing the odds of you being right. Any trade you place below the blue bar increases your probability by 90%. So for somebody like myself who manages a shit ton of money, um, trust me, I'm going to wait for the market to clear the blue bar so that I know whatever trade it is that I'm getting into is a sure bet. But for now, no trading opportunities on the euro because we could potentially want to form some form of a silly head and shoulder pattern here, knowing Forex pairs might want to take a bit longer for us to get on his way to the downside might want to poke here for a bit so technically right now the euro is going to move sideways for at least for at least another month month and a half or we could drop down if we drop down let's go selling but if we don't we're going to range here for a bit get ready for a lot of blown accounts <laughs> <laughs> as lower time frame traders when market starts to range and there's no it's coming down going on coming down they don't really know what to do and it's psh. but it's what it is the euro ideally i'll be expecting us to break lower if we don't expect to consolidation here for a bit before we drop lower so that's your aud usd euro usd gbp usd is literally it's very similar to the euro as you can see everything is pretty much almost the same a b c so Fibonacci move here, uh, Fib retracement, A, B, C. It's a huge one. You need to see, be able to see better on the monthly time frame, actually. Yeah, sir. Capped it. That's what I'm telling you. Boy, GBP USD has made a lower high. Okay? It's a lower high. It's a high, low. So this is a high, low, lower high. And... I mean, the characteristics of a trend, lower high, lower low, lower high, we're going to come and put in a lower low, at least an equal low or a lower low. Now, same thing with Euro USD. I'm favoring this 90% to the downside. Why? Because if you look left, it's a downtrend. And I think this one is even juicier because this is looking like the third. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> it's a little trick in the book called the third touch of the trend line. I was expecting most for us to come... But it didn't happen. Anytime the market touches, anytime you draw your trend line, first touch, second touch, and then the market comes to touch it for the third time, best believe that that third touch is going to send it down. Or if the reverse is the case, if it's bullish, send it up. So this is looking like a very sweet confluence for me. Um, if I draw my Fibonacci from swing high to swing low, A, B, C, D should come complete. Think I'm joking? Clone this shit so you can see. Clone this bad boy. Clone this bad boy. You can see? It's not rocket science. A to B will be equal to C to D. Simple as A, B, C. <laughs> so, GBP USD, 90% favorite to the downside. However, however, you know, 
this blue bar is holding this market here, holding it hostage. So what do we do? Gotta wait. You just have to wait. I mean, you can play around with some trading opportunities on the lower time frame, but with the way that I trade and the kind of capital that I have, and not to worry, guys, I forgot to mention to you guys, Willis Capital is coming very soon. I'm on the verge of actually... What is actually holding it up at the moment is the contract with the broker, liquidity provider. I have been... I literally have it on my desk somewhere here. So you see, I'll show you guys briefly. The contract... <laughs> So I have it here on my desk, but there's some terms and conditions that I'm not quite comfortable with. Um, as you guys know, my primary responsibility is to ensure and protect the interest of traders. I, Guys, you guys are my community and I consider myself the leader of this community. So it is my sole responsibility to ensure that your assets are protected, right? So, yes, but... I'm looking at about Monday, about Tuesday, I should have signed off the contract and then we should be launching towards the end of November. I've had to push it back another four weeks because, guys, one thing about this industry is you have to get your paperwork right. And I'm not going to rush like every prop firm is rushing out there and then they fold up after a couple of months. No, getting everything done. And the reason why it's taking this long is because we're going to be actually, I am mandating the brokers to actually place traders trades on the live market this for me is very important the traders must have their trades placed on the live market no more simulated prop firms anymore because i actually want to i actually want i believe that there are profitable traders out there and i believe that if they have profitable traders out there and they're trading in my prop firm i can get a piece if i give them capital think about it. if i give them capital right give you guys capital give you guys capital right obviously the best traders right and they make, they double their $100,000 account. Think about it. They make $100,000 in profit. Profit sharing is 70, 30. They keep, the trader keeps 70, Willis Capital keeps 30. I just made $30,000. So like, I, I don't see any reason why trades are not being placed on the live market. So Willis Capital is out here to change the game, okay? Trades will go to the live market and majority of our proceeds our income our revenue actually be from profit split so it is our it is in our best interest to ensure that traders are trading profitably and i'm obviously going to be here imagine you i'm giving you capital and i'm giving you analysis and i'm giving you education doesn't get better than that so once again guys just watch out it's going to be drop it's dropping soon the links are going to be live again and will be good but anyways back to this so and one thing i like about willis capital is the fact that you can hold your trades for as long as you need to hold your trades for <laughs> um, um the trading conditions are such in which i would want to trade in so everything i'm preaching here how i trade how i hold it is the same conditions because at the end of the day you cannot pressure traders can't you cannot pressure traders some things just take time for example look at gbp usd now if people have bought an account they're like okay, i want to quickly quickly because of time limit blah 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 There's no trading opportunity bro we just hit major support what are you gonna do nothing buy sell you don't know what which way it's gonna go but at the end of the day i mean if you have a proper firm account that doesn't have any time limit. Whenever you want to trade, you trade and forever how long you want to hold it for. You're patient, you're relaxed, you get to make more money, you make, you make more solid decisions. So Euro USD and GBP USD, pretty much the same thing going on. We just have to wait for it to clear major support. Or we can just turn around and start going to the upside. We'll have to just watch and see. If we turn around and start going to the upside, I'll come and redo another analysis and start looking for trading opportunities to the upside. But for now, I'm favoring 90% what? To the downside. I look at this, everybody's laughing at me about projecting thousands of thousands of pips. Don't be stupid, man. What is it? What? Calculate 1.21 to 1.05. How many pips is that? How many pips is that? Isn't that 2,000 pips? Simple. Space. You know what that means? If we clear the blue zone, next level target is here. Is that not 2,000 pips, ladies and gentlemen? You heard it here first on Dapsy Radio. Comment 2,000 pips down below. <laughs> if you go to this part of the video, comment 2,000 pips below. People thought I was capping. Thought I was capping. They don't, they're not enlightened. Look at this. Easy. Just don't know how to do it. Anyways, that's GBP USD. Now, let's go over to some... 
let's go over to the s p 500 pretty quickly so s p 500 i'm going to run over this very quickly it's one of my favorite instruments to trade for those guys who are who are stock heads uh, uh, stock market heads love to trade the stock market so s p 500 high low higher high higher low um higher high higher low we have a fib move complain out here we have a fib move playing out sorry that's the second fib move just give me a second so we got a fib move playing out here a b c 50 fib willy zone and so if the market has done a low high higher low we should come and put in a higher high basic price action shit based on this i would hold uh s p 500 to its word it has given me it's a clear uptrend rule number one on the monthly time frame what is the trend saying it's an uptrend look for the immediate swing low and immediate swing high join your fibonacci here pull back and we have started to pop all the way to the upside so automatically my mind is telling me bullish bullish also if i come on the weekly time frame you will notice that when the market pulled back into the fib region because the fib held it somewhere around here when the market pulled back into the fib region you can see that what actually happened here was very simple and very straightforward this the market formed an inverse head and shoulder inverse head and shoulder is a bullish movement okay meaning that we have the left shoulder the head and then the right shoulder and then once we broke out momentum all the way to the upside now what is happening for the s p founders we're actually pulling back at the moment now i haven't gotten into s p 500 yet but i saw something that might just interest everybody so you come on the monthly time frame i show you guys so what is actually happening is in, what is actually in play here is this okay this is actually what's in play okay so technically we're still bullish but we do have a correction to the downside and it's looking very red however if i come and i put my demands on where it's supposed to be which is here nicely we literally have uh we literally have a willis zone set up about here willis zone is a confluence between okay i can't tell everybody only for forex that's why i said get the forex mastery program you know all this stuff see it's simple the link down below you can analyze anything okay so just by looking at the s p 500 i have a projection um i am anticipating the s p 500 to rally all the way up to 4756 however it is feeling very heavy on this trend line so it's looking very 50 50 actually 60 40 because 60 percent to the upside 40 percent to the downside guys in this game you can never be 100 percent anything can happen However, 60-40 is fine. Now, the question is, how do I increase the probabilities from being 60-40 to be like 90-10? Patience. I need to see this market stabilize here and give me a bullish engulfing candle to the upside. I will be buying. Or, if indeed the market wants to reverse, it should break here and give me a clear red candle close weekly. I will then scale to a lower time frame and start looking for selling opportunities. So that just goes to show you that, guys, there's a trade either way. You just need to be patient. You just need to wait. See, one thing about me is I like for the market to give me, commit to me, commit a, give me a direction, commit to a particular direction so that I know what exactly it is you're trying to do commit to a particular direction for uh, commit to a particular direction so I'm, I'm certain on what exactly it is you're trying to do well if unless you do that i'm not exactly interested right so s p 500 although i'm favoring the upside though <laughs> i'm favoring the upside it's upside is i mean guys because the upside we have you know pips to the upside man round number four eight hundred so Four eight hundred would be a nice figure. So all I need from S and P five hundred, settle here. It might flick out a bit. Don't get carried away by a fake out. It might flick out a bit. Once we pop back up here, woof, I'll be looking for buy opportunities. And last but not the least, the U S oil. U S oil, um, it's very similar to the S and P five hundred. You can see this whoosh 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 to the upside. We pulled back. Um, if I take my Fibonacci from swing low to swing high as always, A, B, C, what formed in this 
Fibonacci region, left shoulder, head, right. This is not a this is not the most straightforward inverse head and shoulder. I'm not gonna lie to you, but sometimes you know the market doesn't always give you what's in the textbook. That's what you guys need to understand. This is the difference between me and the rest of the people. I tell you, I don't just come here and preach. If the trend line does this, do this. If this happens, do that. If that one happens, do that. No, 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 no. Let's come and let's come. This is the battlefield. <laughs> this is the battlefield. What is obtainable? If not, if what was obtainable in the textbook was obtainable in real life, then all the teachers in universities will be the richest people in the world. Teachers cannot survive in the real world. No offense to teachers out there, but like, there are teachers who make a lot of money. But think about it for everybody who taught you chemistry, physics, math, finance, your finance, your finance, economical finance professor. They're not the richest people in the world. They make money, but they're not the richest people in the world because sometimes what is obtainable in the textbook is not what's obtainable in real life. And this, my, my, this in front of you, my friends, is real life trading. As you can see, this is not the most textbook head and shoulder, but it is. <laughs> it is. So long story short, we have range here for the longest time, been in this range since November of last year. We finally broken above this neckline and then the law of the inverse head and shoulder states that whatever amount of pips we range for during the consolidation period is the amount of pips we're going to have a breakout to. Don't understand what I'm saying? Get the Forex Mastery program. So I can see, I cannot. I'm getting tired now. So oil, um, simple. I don't need to say much. If we sustain above here, $98 a barrel at least. Or we might just push into the hundred dollar round around number. So don't don't don't. I'm just putting this green bar here because I'm just trying to do my calculation properly. But if I'm actually being honest, the entire pip count is somewhere actually lower, which is here. I'm just actually trying to accommodate for the support level. So yeah, if I'm doing this the right way, uh, my projection should run into a hundred dollars a barrel, which is about here. Yep. I was right, you know. So I'm um, favoring oil to the upside, to at least to push to hundred dollars a barrel. If we take a hundred dollars a barrel, we should pop all the way into hundred and twelve dollars a barrel. And with all the volatile situations going on around the world, usually when there's political uncertainty, oil prices tend to rally, you know, because at the end of the day, companies, at the end of the day, countries cannot trade as much. Um, different trade routes are blocked. There's a blockade here and there because this country is fighting that country. So oil cannot literally move around uh, as it would often usually move around. So when that happens, oil price of oil usually shoots up. So once there's a crisis, you know, oil prices tend to, to rally to the upside. So that's kind of like a sentimental and fundamental factor behind that. Uh, but technically speaking, I'm favoring $100 to the upside. However, if that doesn't happen, um, if we break here, so this is the, the caveat to this, right? So this is a support level. If we break down below, next level target will be pushing somewhere at $67 a barrel, which is here. But as long as we sustain and stay above this region right here, $100 a barrel is certain. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's my time once again. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, and ensure... Ooh, Bitcoin! BTC! BTC has broken out, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-huh. BTC has broken out. BTC, once we clear 35, 35K, next level target will be 45K. We've broken out. Um, I see no reason why. Bit Bitcoin might be on its next leg to the upside, you know? Because it's a higher low from here. From a higher time frame perspective, we might be doing a madness. Okay, I'm going to revisit BTC during my next trader talk, actually. But um, BTC is finally broken out. It's looking promising. Maybe cryptos might be back, but we need to clear out this black bar here. Once we clear out this black bar here, next level target will be obviously this supply zone, which is here, which is 46K. So, ladies and gentlemen, you can see how the top-down analysis can allow you to analyze any instrument or any choice, any instrument of your choice. Simple, straightforward. All you need to do is know this, understand this, and then once the trading opportunity presents itself, scale down to a lower time frame and then trade that. Um, yeah, so guys, for now, the market needs to adjust itself and give us a more clear direction. I will be back here again next week. I'm finally back on YouTube, back in front of my subscribers, back in front of my amazing fans. I'll be here to guide you guys into profitability. 
Once again, guys, that's my time. My name is Dapo Willis. If you haven't already grabbed the Forex Mastery program, the link is in the description as always. And guys, Willis Capital will be launching soon. I'll be speaking about it extensively in the next video. Watch out. Take it easy and peace out.